Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a full review on the Iwata HP BCS. Right guys, welcome back. We are gonna be doing the review on the Iwata HP BCS. This is a 0.5mm needle setup airbrush and it's a bottom feed airbrush. When you buy one of these airbrushes you'll get them in a cardboard and plastic box like this. Inside the box you will get a little spanner which can take the front head off the um, airbrush. You'll get an eye water sticker which is a bonus and you get some eye water super lube. This is a lubrication for the parts on the airbrush, like the trigger, it's a really good lubrication. I usually use it on the needle, just rub a bit on the back of the needle, so as you slide the needle into the airbrush, it gives it that little bit more lubrication. The airbrush itself, that's the one that we're gonna to review today, guys. As I said, this is a bottom feed airbrush, so you will put little cartridges, bottles on the bottom. It's a double action airbrush as well, so it's down for air again, back for paint. I first purchased this airbrush, this is going back years. I went to um, a course with Simon Murray at SM Designs. It was a Drew Blair course and we were through the day we're chatting and I got to talk to Simon Murray and we were talking about airbrushes and he pointed me in the direction of this one. So I brought this airbrush on the day and I am so glad that I did because this airbrush has been an absolute godsend it is indestructible i have dropped this so many times even with the cap off with the needle exposed i've chucked every paint source known to man through this airbrush from primers base coats metallics clear coats acrylics every source of paint i've chucked through this brush and tried it through the years and it has never missed a beat, it's never let me down. I've never had to change anything on this brush whatsoever. The needle is exactly the same as it was when I got it from Day Dot. So yeah, it is an absolute cracking brush. And the reason why it's such a good brush and so versatile is because it's a bottom feed and you get your bottles that clip onto the bottom so you'll put them on there like that. These are new bottles so these are quite tight. You'll have that like that and you can be spraying and if you need to change your colour you can literally just take that bottle off like that, grab your next colour, put it straight on the bottom, blast it through and you're good to go. It's such a quick way of changing your colours, especially if you've got a load of bottles all set up for your piece of artwork that you're doing. You can just bang the colours in the bottom, blast it through and you're good to go. I'll put some pictures up now at the bottom of the screen of some of the pieces I've done with this brush and it was the reason why I got this brush. They're just a very, very versatile. They get the paint down. They atomize really well. You can get some really good detail down with these and you've not got a cup on the top or a side. You can look straight down your brush. As I said in the previous videos, I don't mind if I've got the cup on the side or the top, but with this, you've got something to hold on to at the front because you can hold the bottle. So it's just a really comfortable brush to work with, guys. The trigger is slightly slanted forward on these eyewatters and they're nice and soft and accurate. You've got no adjust on the back of these, but preference you don't need it on this brush because these are for getting paint down. Um, if you're doing t-shirts and things like that, they are perfect for doing t-shirt work big wall stuff. I know a lot of artists that use these for doing big wall pieces. So that's my babble on about the brush guys. What we'll do is we'll get the airline set up and I'll just do some little test pieces on this piece of paper in front and then you'll see for yourself how good this brush is and how you can get detail down with it and you can get good coverage. So I'll see you in the next step. Right, I've dropped the bottle of paint on the bottom. We're going to be running this about, 
It's about 22 PSI on this. Just pull the paint through. And I'll just show you some little dot work, line work, bit of coverage, things like that. So you can get a good feel of this brush and what it can do. And I'll do like a quick change with the paint so you can see how you can blast through and change the color quite quick. So we'll start off guys with pushing the needle in because it's pushing paint through. So we'll do some little small dots like that and then we can do so that's the sort of size you're going to get on your dots when you fall back on the paint I'll take the cap off this the paint that I've put in this is an old paint I've just found an old black paint so it might be a little bit grainy on this paint but that's you can get right down with this brush guys I mean they're going down tiny little dots shade nice you can really get the paint down nice with this My little doodle of a palm tree. But they're just a really, really nice brush. And as I say, I've had this for years now and it has never let me down. I've painted so many different things with this from alloy wheels, I've done wall pieces, as you've seen in them pictures I've just posted up. But yeah, I'll always pick this brush up. I'm so glad that I did buy it. It's one of them brushes that you can have it sitting on the side for ages and most of the time this one's sat on the side and it's got a paint pot shoved up there and it's just left and you can pick it up, press the trigger and it just works. You've just not got to worry, you just know it's going to perform every time. Quick blast through with thinners, job done, you're good to go with these. They're like a they're built really, really well. I'll just blast that through, chuck the next paint pot on. And then you're good to go with your next colour as you can see. It's pulling a bit of black through, but that'll clear. It's just a real good brush to work with. Comfortable brush. You can have this sitting in your hand for a, an all day. And you will not feel uncomfortable, you won't have any hand ache or anything like that. I want to know what they're doing when it comes to airbrushes. And you can really get some nice it really does atomise that paint nice on these. So this is the Eyewater Eclipse and it is the HP BCS bottom feed 0 0.5. So if you're thinking of doing t-shirt, 
starting in a t-shirt airbrush line of work. Absolute perfect brush for that. Really would recommend it. They, uh, they'd be brilliant for that. If you're doing wall art and things, it'd be perfect because you can get your paint down nice. It's just a great one to have in your airbrush arsenal with your other brushes if you've got a detailed brush like the, the Griots or say you had a Micron, get one of these. I think these come out at about a hundred and, I mean, I paid 109 for this when I got it, uh, and that was years ago. I don't know what they are now, but yeah, really worth having in your airbrush arsenal as a brush for if you want to get some coverage down and you're doing big pieces, they're perfect. So it's nice to have a nice selection of brushes so you can go to that one and that'll do that job. You've got a detailed brush to do that job. So yeah, I would highly recommend one. They're a cracking brush. And in my eyes, indestructible, because I've had this for so many years now and it has never missed a beat. Quick blast out of thinners and then just chuck any paint down its neck and it'll, it'll spray it. Not a problem at all. And you can get nice detail down with this. if you need to. So that's a little spray test for you. And basically you'll just do that, blast it through, chuck your next paint pot on, and then you're good to go again. Quick as that guys. And this thing will, it will get your paint down. If you need a bit of coverage, as you can see there, this black is really thin, so you're not getting full opaque on that. If this was a solid opaque, my other black, that would work, but this is an old black. So that is the Iwata HP BCS, guys. Brilliant brush. Well worth having in your airbrush arsenal as a good coverage and a good all-rounder. Won't let you down. Price-wise, I'll... Even if these were 170 or 200 pound, I would say buy one. They're well worth that. I don't think they are that, but if they were, I'd buy one because they are brilliant. And I've had this absolutely years and it is, it's in mint condition still. The chrome finish on it, it's not tarnished anywhere. The needle's been absolutely perfect. As I said, I've not changed anything on this brush. It's been absolutely fine. The only thing I've gone through is the bottles and the reason I mean I'm using the Iwata big mouth bottles on these these are the small ones and I've also got some of the bigger bottles and what I tend to find with the bottles after years of use they tend to wear on the bit that goes in because that's plastic I've got one where it's really loose and if I need to use it I'll just shove the bottle on there and literally get a bit of masking tape over the lid over the top of the brush to hold the bottle on because the actual piece there is really worn away where it's been put in and out of the airbrush so many times it's just made the neck of that bottle a lot slimmer so it just drops out the airbrush but it still works bit of masking tape you know it, it'll get you out the shit as they say if you're on a job and that bottle's falling drop a bit of masking tape. you just make do with what you got and you crack on so yeah that's the Iwata, highly recommend it. The next airbrush review that I'm gonna do for you guys will be the next Iwata up. And we'll be moving on to the, it's another Eclipse. And this one is the HP SBS side feed. 
So we're gonna start going on to the side feeds now, guys. So this one will be the next one to do a review on. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Got something out of it along the way. And I will see you lot in the next one. Thanks for watching.